talk about your process. Take us through a little bit how you how you do one of these. First off, uh, I'm following, or as best I know how, uh, the process that Michelle Kasu calls point point zero. Uh, Sherry Ray calls it intuitive painting, but there's no way to fail. And so the need to have some great vision in mind is meaningless. I don't, I don't need a vision. I don't need to know ahead of time what I'm going to paint. And that's critical because that takes all the fucking pressure off. And pressure is what ruins art. So, uh, I mean, if, if you got to, if you've got to get a hit all four times you come to bat in a game, you probably aren't even going to show up at the game. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. So, so, uh, Oftentimes, it'll start with just a single dot, or um, I, I like the looks of that brush right there. How about I paint something with that brush? So, uh, it's really all in the moment, meaning there is no plan. Uh, is it kind of like Murrow licking that water in the background? Very similar, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, and when something, if it tastes good, keep going, do more of it. If it goes flat, change it up, do something else. Uh, but in truth, I cannot remember when I'm looking at this, where this one began. I think it might've began with like a, A dude's face with a red beard, maybe, or I, I, I honestly don't know, but um, I remember the red beard being fairly early. So you didn't go into it with a. Like, I I had no detail beard. outline. No, or not anything. at all, not at all, and nor do I ever. Uh, there why not? Be, huh? Why not? A lot of artists will sketch before they paint. Yeah. Uh, because to me, that's the same as a realism, meaning I had to produce some level of realism in college for, to get a degree in art, but to a large degree, the, the, the way you score points on realism is if, it, if you can produce something that looks like a photograph, then that's, that's the idea of realism. Well, if you want to do that, why not get a camera and take pictures? Save you a whole lot of time. Uh, but for me, that also boxes you in because really, it's a, it is the process, it's not the product. I like having things in the end that, that turn me on, but more importantly, I like painting. And so the fact that I get to dip a brush in water and then I get to dip the wet brush in paint and then I get to put paint on paper. That's it. That's what more could you want? It's yeah. like it's like football. To win a game, that's nice. Oh neato. But to get dirty and sweaty and tackle each other and try to not be tackled by somebody that's trying to tackle you, that's football. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't discuss that with an NFL player because they, they make their living that way and so they're philosophically very different. But to me, the process is the joy. And so if I then at the end get to have something like that that I've made, well, that's a bonus, but but getting to put paint on paper is ecstasy. Yeah.